Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you all have seen from the thumbnail, I'll be creating multiple DIYs using these metal wall decor pieces that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Although these are metal, they are very lightweight and it already comes with a hook on the back. To make sure all my pieces are aligned properly, I'm lining all the hooks up with one another. These wood blocks combined with hot glue will keep all my pieces together. These wood blocks made my piece very sturdy and they did not come apart. I suggest adding a stronger adhesive if you plan on recreating this and I only added hot glue because I knew that I was going to attach the mirrors to the front so that would adhere all the pieces on the front side. I have some of these bigger and smaller pieces of these faux pearls and I'm going to put the bigger ones right in the center. I'm adding the bling jewel border stickers in all of the ridges of my pieces. These are self adhesive, but since I reuse some of my items, I'm adding a little glue to make them stick better. It's better to add the glue directly to the gems rather than adding it directly to the metal since it will dry out faster. And just like that, project number one is complete. I'm loving the gold paired with the bling and the pearls. Let me know down in the comments if you would recreate this. My wall decor can also be used as a centerpiece. Comment below what you would use this for. On to project number two, I'm setting up my pieces in a zigzag like pattern. Initially, I just added hot glue along with my craft sticks that I pre-cut, but later on you will see me adding E6000 glue because two of them came apart. As I was flipping my piece over, these pieces came right off. So if you are going to recreate this, then please use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. I'm using this clear tape to keep my pearls in place so that way when I get ready to spray paint them, they don't move. I'm starting on project number three since I will be taking this outside with project number two to spray paint as well. It was a rainy day outside so that's what those drops are and I'm using my black semi-gloss spray paint that I purchased from Home Depot. These pieces are project number two, while the two pearls I'm about to spray paint are for project number three. These pieces are project number three, while the pearls are for project number two, and I'm using my Blossom White Satin Spray Paint, which I purchased this from Home Depot as well. I'll put my glue on the side that wasn't fully covered. 
I'm placing the bigger pearls directly in the center. I'm using the smaller ones to cover up the visible glue. I'm using these spoons that I already had on hand and I'm placing them around the pearl to mimic a flower shape. I added more pearls to the center since the glue had seeped out, but overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm placing these two pearls right in the center. For this next step, I'm using these spoon handles and I'm gluing the jewel border stickers right on top of them. Since these are self-adhesive, I'm not adding too much glue. I'm putting my spoon handles in place before I glue them down. I'm only putting glue on the very bottom and top since those are the only areas that will be touching the metal piece. I only put glue on the areas where my mirror will touch. I'm really loving how this one turned out as well. Comment below and let me know what y'all think. <laughs> 